Friday Fly Day. SUS News is moving its world HQ. We're moving house. Moving house means you find stuff, doesn't it? And out comes this disc of um, of one to fifty thousand digital maps that I think in about I don't even know what year it was now. I'm going to say let's just for argument's sake call it two thousand and six. I I flew a hot air balloon jo jolly jolly high and um, well th thirty thousand feet. And I needed maps, I needed digital maps, which I put on a laptop and I used um, APRS uh, as, as a, a means of um, tracking. And, um, and what a faff it was. And now, with this very phone that I am speaking on now, taking a video on, with this very phone, I can take a video, I can have a map, I can control a drone, it's the world's gone mad. They don't know they're born these days. Don't know they're born. And just to prove I still do fly drones, here's footage of the very place we're leaving. I filmed this afternoon. The light was better when I started. Honest, my lord, love living in that place. If you're getting serious about air autonomous, you'll need some free scenery, or it's a good idea. And you can get that from Ortho 4XP. I'll put a link in the instructions, and that'll be below. So another flight this time from RAF Valley, which is to the north side of Wales, back down to Aberporth, remember that airfield with all the testing airspace. And we're going to go via the Mac Loop. What's that? Entering the McCutlet Loop, North Wales. Hard bank to the left, lining up the overbank to the right. Overbanking, 5G over the top, speed now 420 knots. Back down 250 feet. Valley wall flashing past the left-hand side. OK. It's not going to be as exciting in the Twin Otter. But anyway, let's go. Ah, before we go, let me show you the GPS. And uh, Obviously, we're sat at Valley now. Uh, we want to go somewhere new. Let's go direct. The outside of this knob um, moves the cursor along, and the inside of this knob moves the letters. So we want Echo Golf, so we'll move along to the right. Now we put a G here. EG Echo Golf. That's a UK airfield, and it's uh, Fox Alpha. Fox Alpha, Cardigan West Wales, that's where we want to go. So we hit enter and we want to activate it. So enter again and there we go, 68.3 miles away. Right, are we sitting comfortably? Then we should begin. Remember, we're using Mission Planner. We're using a simulated autopilot, open source autopilot, uh, using Ardu Plane software stack. Watch the dials come up, levers come down, hit brakes. Eyes down for a full house. Here we go. It's going to be an untidy takeoff. This flight is in the Virtual Airlines Management System, um, and it's not completely properly made. You'll just about miss mountains and stuff and things like that. So do it for yourself. <laughs> Make it better yourself. Uh, so here we go. Heading off down towards the Mac Loop. Remember what we're doing? We're simulating aircraft. In this case, an optionally piloted vehicle using the Alias system from Aurora Flight Sciences. And the smaller ones, obviously, just plain old RG Pilot aircraft. But we're using, for all of them in our simulation, we're using RG Pilot. The main big aim of the game is to have a test flight area in Lesotho and see if we can make drone deliveries work. Here we are then, Mac Loop. Not quite as groovy as the Typhoon. This, of course, uh, is just a fun flight for young Jamie Bignall and the university team from Bath and anyone else that wants to be a pilot out of Aberporth. Now, as I was flying down here, I remembered a very good friend of mine, Mike, has moved, I believe, to a town called Borth or nearabouts. So I thought I'd quickly change the route to get me overhead there. So this is me changing a mission planner and then we'll upload to the autopilot and we'll be on our way if we can see we can find his house. I think I know where he lives. So we start the mission, go to the north, see that hill fort at uh, Aberystwyth. And let's be honest, most people fly because they like looking at the ground. I really think that's the case. It's certainly the case for me. There's a hill fort again. So going back up north, I restarted the mission and we're going to go to a waypoint north of him and come back down again and have a look. Not 
Might as well have some fun with this, why not? Um, we might be having some other aircraft, some, um, some designers have, have indicated an interest in bringing their aircraft to our virtual EIS test site, and that would be fantastic if we did that. But I think I should put a few fun flights in. There's plenty to learn, and I think together we can, we can create the human-machine interfaces required. That sound, that's a bit posh for a Friday night, isn't it? There we go, balls on the nose. And I think, I think his place is up on the houses on the right, uh, in that jutty-outy bit. It's a technical term, that. See the wind on the, on the aircraft, see the nose is pointed off, uh, that's taking the wind into account. Well, I think his house is up there somewhere, I think, but I'm not sure, I will have to ask him. Probably going under the wing uh, any time now. I'm really looking forward to getting feedback from you as operators as to what you think companies really need to deliver stuff using drones. So back to our fourth in time for two medals. Remember, I haven't, I haven't properly set these flights up at all, so I'll leave you to do that. And you'll see the result of me not properly setting up in a second. We arrived back way, way, way too high, so that needs to be adjusted. So, no dramas, let's flick to manual. Oh, that's not a good thing, and that was because auto trim was on. And auto trim will have the thing all over the place when you take over manually, so that's something to be aware of. And yeah, just manually done by the Garrett. The Twin Otter is just a wonderful aeroplane that's more than enough runway left for it. It's a wonderful thing, and I think it's becoming my favourite thing to fly. Uh, in simulation. You decide which landing was the best there. Like, subscribe, do whatever else you need to do on the tube of the U. And don't forget to join us every Tuesday at 21 100 GMT for our usual weekly nonsense chat. Thanks for watching. Cheerio for now.